put on the report. The 42 member presidential working party on education reforms, appointed September last year by President William Bruto, presented their final report at State House Nairobi today. You can see that indeed the new recommendations presented by the task force include all schools from PP1 to Grade 1 will now be under one umbrella and one leadership, including doing away with the term secondary school. Schools will be categorized best on career pathways for senior secondary instead of being separated as national and county schools. Introduction of three months community service program after completion of senior school. Introduction of a mandatory nine months community service after completing higher learning. Introduction of a one year mandatory training on CBC for graduate teachers. <laughs> With immediate effect, grade 1 to 3 subjects will reduce from 9 to 7, while from grade 4 to 6, subjects will reduce from 12 to 8. Meanwhile, junior secondary school grade 7 to 9 subjects will now be 9 from the current 14, while senior secondary school will have a maximum of 7 subjects. Capitation has also been reviewed, recommending as follows. PP1 to PP2 will receive 1,170 shillings. Grade 1 to 6 will receive 2,238 shillings. Grade 7 to 9 JSS will receive 15,043 shillings, while senior day secondary students will receive 22,527 shillings. We can fully fund 100%, close to 45,000 students from vulnerable families. That all of them in our universities. On higher learning, the team recommended that management of bursaries and scholarships will be under Kenya Basic Education Bursaries and Scholarship Council, operationalizing the Open University by September this year. There are gaps that still exist in fully funding our program. And I want to commit to the education uh, stakeholders that the government of Kenya is going to provide sufficient resources to close all the funding gaps. The Rafael Munavu Task Force also urged parliamentarians to fast track the change of policies needed to effect the new recommendations. They also urged the head of state to develop an advisory council that will oversee the implementation. Harriet Chimea, K24.